my name is Glory Yim and today I'll be speaking with Dr. Kenneth Chan, a specialist in respiratory medicine at Gleneagles Hospital. Dr. Chan is going to tell us about the seldom discussed condition known as exercise-induced asthma. Hi Dr. Chan, thank you for joining us today. So what is exercise-induced asthma and why does it occur? Exercise-induced asthma is a condition whereby the airways narrow uh, during exercise and that leads to uh, symptoms such as cough, uh, breathlessness and chest tightness usually either during or after exercise. What you see here are cutouts of our breathing tubes. Our breathing tubes are the tubes that bring air from our, our nose and our mouth uh, to our lungs. The breathing tubes go from here, normal where the air passages are very nice and wide, to are very narrow, just like in this picture. What are some of the common preconceptions about exercise-induced asthma? Some people believe it's just because they're not fit. It's perceived as a lack of stamina, rather than something more serious than that. Can people who exercise you know, regularly and are otherwise normal suddenly experience EIA during a normal session of exercise? Yes, they can. Um, and that's because exercise-induced asthma can come on later in life. So you can be exercising normally most of your life and then develop exercise induce asthma uh, in your 20s or, or 30s. If people are concerned about this condition, can they go for a screening? It's helpful to go and see a doctor and make sure it's not something more serious, for example, heart disease or any other lung condition. If a person simply wants to be screened for EIA, then yes, there is a test that we can do. It's called an exercise challenge test. In essence, it's basically just running on a treadmill. We are able to detect whether or not a person has exercise-induced asthma. Does having EIA mean that you can never be a professional athlete? Definitely not true. Many famous athletes who are asthmatic, okay, and examples are David Beckham is a bad asthmatic, you know. Uh, wow. Many tennis players are asthmatics. Uh, Justin Enner, as long as you're treated appropriately for exercise-induced asthma, there's nothing that prevents you from exercising regularly and even in competitive sports. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Chan. That was very interesting. Definitely goes to show that it's not a condition that should hold us back from enjoying sports and exercise.